Greetings and welcome back to the podcast. I'm your host as always, Jason Oliveira, and we're going to try something new today. Something I've never tried before. In hopes of being able to produce these shows a little bit quicker, I've got two Oreo concept videos ready to go back to back. First and foremost, if you'll check out the dunk cam, as I like to refer to it as, I found the churro cream filled cookies, the Bentons from Aldi. I was not thrilled with the Bentons from Aldi when I tried them during our Oreo comparison. Here, here's a card if you want to watch that one. That's I tried to compare as many Oreo knockoff cookies to the original as possible and, you know, rank them. One of those type videos. It was fun. It was a little long, but it was fun. But the time right now is to eat these churro cream filled cookies, the Bentons from Aldi's, and we will score them. Sadly, I was unable to get my hands on because they haven't been on the market in probably over a year at this point. The mystery version two Oreos were actually churros. So I kind of wanted to compare them, but it wasn't worth the effort of trying to spend $30 on a box of cookies just to compare them. We're going to try these today in hopes that I can remember. We've got an official new knife of the, uh, the vodcast too, for all our unboxing purposes. <laughs> can you believe they sell that on Amazon? $12.99. I mean, don't you want something cool? Look, it's, it's, it's got that lightsaber, like, in and out type deal. You know what I mean? You know what I mean. I love Star Wars. Let's eat cookies. All right, let's give them the smell. Let's see what they smell like. All right, so first of all, let me just say this. The bag tore to shit right out the gate. You just lost a point. I hope you're happy. I hope you're happy, churros. The cream is abundant. It, it's, it's at least the equivalent of a regular cream. If not, I would say a double stuff. Did not come away cleanly. And there's something very waxy and tacky about this. Okay, yeah. See, this, when it doesn't come apart, like when it doesn't easily flow off and it's more juicy, uh, I don't like that cream. I've gotten into the habit of enjoying the weird cream. I realized I just tasted the cream. I didn't taste much of anything, though. Eh. They, they smell like they should, or you would expect them to smell. Here we go. All right, it's not screaming churros at me, but it's good. I can't tell you much more than that. It's very sweet. I mean, not, not overly sweet, just the right amount of sweet. I can taste a little bit of a cinnamon there now on the back end of things, but I'm going to try it in milk. And I have a feeling it's going to bring out the churro in this cookie. Let us dunk our Oreos in the milk, in the milk. Let us dunk. Oh, it's already fallen apart. After even just two dunks in, disappointing. See, it's that cream. It's the cream in an Oreo that keeps the cookie together longer, I think. Or at least it adhered to the cream that much longer when it's introduced to milk. Mm, okay. Let me start by saying... Very consistent dunk. Woo. Who's the dunk king? I am the dunk king. Um, on a side note, okay. Yes, that did do exactly what I thought it was going to do. Got a little bit of the cookie out of the way. Cookie's already sweet enough. Didn't even need to be that sweet. It really pushed the cream through at that point and showed its strength, which is the flavor of a churro. A lot more cinnamon that time around. Maybe you're expected to dunk these in milk. Maybe when they sell these, they're like, yeah, our cookies aren't great, but if you dunk them in milk, we're awesome. And I would agree with that statement. And if I had to score these, huh. If I had to score these, which I suppose I have to do because I'm here to score them, I'd give them like a 7.5. They're in that upper echelon that, you know, um, you know, uh, pumpkin Oreo, they're, they're in that realm where there's a different flavor in there, enough that I'm interested in it that I would probably buy it again if I was with somebody and they'd never tried them before. I'd be like, hey, we should try those. You'll like them. They're good if you're into churros and Oreos. Cookies. I have little tiny baby nipples. Well, enough about my nipples. I'm going to let you guys go with that score. And if you want to, stop by again later on this afternoon. I should have another episode up, which will be comparing... We'll be comparing, check out the dunk cam. It's like magic, isn't it? We'll be comparing the birthday cake Oreos. Um, 
Uh, Carol asked me over the phone if I wanted these, and I thought, you know what? I know I can still get these, so let's do a comparison. Unfortunately, they only had the family size, but the family size is what I remember as being a normal size growing up. Anywho, I hope you love the churro episode. If you guys love watching these as much as I'm loving making them, please consider liking, commenting, subscribing, sharing, and hit the little bell icon. It'll let you know every time I put out a new video. Don't forget to make somebody smile today and uh, take care of each other out there. I'm Jason Oliver. This is a podcast, and I'll catch you guys a little bit further on down the road. Take care, everybody.